This is where everybody makes the biggest mistake in trying to lose weight. So weight gain works like this. You see, once we understand the physiological rules of how the body burns energy, we can strip fat off our body. Because I assume when you say weight gain, you mean fat, right? So when most people say I wanna lose weight, they really mean I wanna lose fat. So here is how your body burns energy. By the way, there are no exceptions to this rule. I see so much bro science on the internet trying to conflict with the laws of physiology, but here's how it works, okay? Number one, number two, number three. Here's how your body burns energy. If you have sugar in your blood, which is glucose, your body will always go to that energy source first. In fact, when sugar rises in your blood, your body secretes something called insulin. Most people think the primary role of insulin is to lower blood sugar. That's not true. The primary role of insulin is to block any other form of energy utilization in the body. If insulin is high, you cannot burn fat physiologically impossible to burn fat in a high sugar environment. So sugar will burn out of your body first. The next source of energy is something called glycogen. That's stored sugar, stored in your liver, stored in your muscles. You have a 20 minute reserve of glycogen in your body, 20 minutes. And then your body can get energy from lean muscle or it can get energy from fat. 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking followed by 30 minutes of steady state cardiovascular exercise. Steady state cardio is where your heart rate is at or below 135 beats a minute. You should be able to talk on the phone, read a Kindle. You are not panting, right? As soon as you go hammer down, your body switches sources. It will switch to lean muscle, right? So unless you have amino acids in your bloodstream, you burn fat at rest. You do not burn fat during exercise. You burn fat at rest.